response video to Brett Kane. Yeah, just a reaction video, actually. Uh, because I've sort of had my fill of Brett. Um, you know, for context, you know, he has come into stick ham rooms. He's heard all the arguments. He's had his opportunity to make some great argument if he had one. He didn't do any of that. Instead, he just does this out of nowhere all of a sudden. So, whatever. You know, just the typical manipulation. Try to stir the pot. Blah, 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 blah. You manipulative weasel. Um, anyway. Have a discussion about antinatalism. For those out there that... Yeah, well, we've had the discussion. You've been there for the discussion. You had nothing to say in the discussion. And now you've just contrived this video out of the lamest, stupidest arguments. Uh, why? Just to make some noise. That's all. I do not know what antinatalism is. It is basically individuals who have made the decision that they do not want children born into this world. They don't want people to reproduce. Um, yeah, right. You know, you're, you know, I'm almost glad that you came out against antinatalism because in a way you're sort of a <clears throat> poster child for... You know, the statement, do you want to wake up with this motherfucker as your daddy? Huh? Do you? Do you want this fuck to be your daddy? Is that where you want to wake up? You know, you're going to die and somebody's going to wake up tomorrow. Everybody wakes up, you know what I mean? You arrive on planet Earth. Do you want to arrive looking at this thing for 18 years? Think about it. Like it causes a lot of pain, population issues, unnecessary suffering. Well, although there are a lot of good points and a lot of things I can agree with and understand on the same wavelength as antinatalist, I myself am not an antinatalist. In fact, I'm a father. I am Which says nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, so, and you're not even going to say what you are. You're not a father who's taking care of his responsibilities. You're an incompetent fucking asshole, all right, who can't take care of himself and has taken on the responsibility of children. You fucked up royally, so why don't you make that as part of the context? And even though you fucked up royally, you don't even have the humility to say, well, look, you know, I think people should have, may should have the right to have kids, but guess what? It's a huge responsibility and I completely fucked it. You don't even have the fucking decency to do that because you're an indecent monster actually encourage uh, the idea of people being able to have family structure being able to bring children into this world and be responsible for them love yeah responsible how right to tax somebody else to pay for them well what's your definition of responsibility how are you going to take care of it something's wrong oh yeah you're not that's right what are you going to do oh that's right you're going to give your kid a suicide uh, drink if the kid's unhappy What's, what's your solution, Brett? Oh, that's right, you don't have a solution. You don't have any way to take responsibility. You just talk it. You talk the talk, you don't walk the walk. You're full of shit. For them, care for them. Do whatever it takes necessary. Yeah, you don't do any of that, Brett. You make fucking videos on YouTube. That's your grand contribution to your fucking family. Fuck you, you fucking asshole. In order to make the best kind of existence or life for that young person. Right, and how is this doing that? How is this doing that? Huh? You got more than one kid. One kid would be a, 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 a 24 hour, 7 day a week job. What, what's this bullshit you're doing on the internet? Oh, that's right. Fuck you. So they can grow up and be someone who contributes to society. Now I'm going to point out quite a few different things why I think that there is a double standard as well as hypocrisy. Yeah, okay, those are big accusations, fuckwit. Now, if you had those accusations in your pocket, why didn't you make them in an open forum and have them and, and be shown for the asshole you are? Oh, that's right, because then it would have been all over and there wouldn't be any YouTube controversy. Yeah, that's right, you fucking manipulative weasel. In antinatalism. And I'm also going to talk about the things that I agree with. You know, fuck off. fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I agree that no child on the earth has the choice of being born. They simply don't. The parents are pretty much the start of it. They are the yeah, that's right. So there's no fucking consent. So it starts off with an aggressive act. 
an aggressive act of imposition. That's the first imposition. That's the first cause. Okay? Um, and so you're going to sit there and argue from a bunch of incidental consequences of that first cause. But the first cause is the first crime. There's no point in arguing about whether, uh, you, know, you know, some incidental circumstance taking place when we know the drunk, who the drunk driver is here. We know how the accident happened. Spark that begins a reproduction through sexual intercourse. This is why we have children in this world. This is why. Uh, yeah, there's test tube babies and all this other shit. This isn't sexual intercourse. This isn't any of that kind of crap. This is a deliberate, willful act of creation. Pro creation. That's what it is, shithead. All right? It's and without consent. You're conceding the point. You can't get consent. And you don't give a fuck. So, so establish that as the premise. You don't give a fuck about somebody's right to say no. All right, you're saying, I can't hear you, so I'm not going to care what you're going to say. Fuck you for that, first off. Not even conceding that you're the aggressor here, shithead. You don't have a right of choice to commit rape, shithead. We have animals in this world. If an antinatalist points his finger at someone who does wish to have children and says, you should not be able to have children. You should not be able to do this because of the suffering and pain that the child may go through as they go throughout their life once they become existent and sentient. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to draw straws for somebody else. You shouldn't be able to gamble with their welfare. That's right, shithead. If you can't absolutely do it 100% right, then you don't have any right to do it at all. Is in itself a hypocrisy. It is a self defeating argument. Well, your hypocrisy and self defeating argument are two different argumentations, okay? You're calling us hypocrites, you motherfucking flabby ass lazy bastard. So back that up with a goddamn bit of evidence, you fucking cunt. Alright, and the second argument of self defeating argument, well, prove it. Because basically you're stating that parents should not have the choice to reproduce. And the very argument stems around having choices and how children don't have choices. But you want to take human beings' choices away of being able to actually... Oh, yeah, what a pile of crap, okay? There's no human beings in non-existence. The Martians don't exist, Brett. No one took away their choices. Their choices haven't been denied them. They don't exist, you stupid shit. The things, the Lilliputians that don't live on this piece of metal, okay? They, they're, they're not denied choices, you stupid shit. It's idiotic argument, you goddamn moron. And that would be pointed out if you would have made it in that public forum, if you had the balls to do that. But no, you're a showboating weasel, so you didn't do that. Our children. So in that, that's a self-defeating argument. Next. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. No sale, shithead. Uh, it's, 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 it's not a self-defeating argument to say that uh, you don't have a right to make choices for other people. And then when you make those choices for other people, that somehow now uh, <clears throat> they don't have the choice, or they shouldn't have the choice to say what to you. Maybe they should have the right to give it right back up your own ass. You did to them what they didn't want happen to happen to them, so maybe they should be able to rape you back. Again, although it's true that a child doesn't have any choice to come into this world... Yeah, it, although it's true that you don't acquire consent, say it accurately. It's not about a child, it's about a human fucking being, you dumb shit. The child has no choice but to be able to have the parents have sexual intercourse and for it to exist. If parents do not have... Well, again, people don't have to have sexual intercourse to have babies, you retard. It's procreation. You're choosing to have babies. You're not choosing to have sex. People can have sex without having fucking babies. So don't try to imply anything else. Sexual intercourse, then a child has no choice at all. 
it will simply remain non-existent. It will simply not be and have absolutely no choice. Yeah, like the gazillion, bazillion, zazillion, zazillion potential possible children that could exist that don't exist. If every woman was obliged to have every child she could have, now you're saying that all those children have been denied their choice, that a crime has been committed against all those fucking babies that don't exist that the woman could have had. So if a woman doesn't have 18 kids, She's denied some human being their, their fundamental human right to life and the choice to commit suicide if they don't like their life. You see how fucking idiotic this logic is, you, you jackass? And you're going to call somebody else a hypocrite or uh, say their logic is self-defeating? Your logic is self-defeating by your own fucking idiotic logic. You've committed some ethical crime if you ever use contraception. You dumb shit, you're making a religious argument, you fucking flabby fat retard. ...whatsoever. Because if something is non-existent, then it is an absolute that it will not have choices. Well, again, things that don't exist don't need choices. Things that aren't sentient don't need choices. This pill bottle doesn't need choices. This coffee cup doesn't need choices. You stupid shit. Only things that are sentient need choices, you stupid shit. So don't imply that we've taken some right away from the poor thing, the thing that doesn't exist, you idiot. So the big argument is the child has no choices. The child will be brought into a slaughterhouse. The universe is terrible. The earth no, yeah, he, you'll be born to this motherfucking jackass. I mean, fuck. How many millions of dollars would you pay to avoid that horror? This is horrible. Why bring any human being into it? The beauty is, is that a human being actually has choices while they exist. The antinatalist forgets to mention the fact that once a person is alive, if they choose not to exist anymore, they have the choice of bailing out throwing in the towel. Right, okay, so you're, you're for giving five-year-olds the right to say, I think my father's a flabby, lazy, motherfucking, smelly piece of shit, and I would like to get the fuck out of here because my genetics suck. His mother committed suicide. This fucking asshole doesn't even know who his father is. And this fucking cunt decided to impose his genetics on me? The stupid pig-faced, flabby, fat fucking piece of shit decided to fucking uh, soil that shit on me. I mean, I might, I might, I'd rather the fucking woman with the claw hands. I'd rather she fucked with me than this fucking piece of pig shit. You're gonna give that five-year-old the right to kill itself, Brett? Huh? Brett? Honest answer, please. Oh no, that's right. You're gonna impose 18 years on it first, aren't you? And make all of its medical decisions for it, too, aren't you? Yeah, and you're going to inspire it with your brilliant YouTube videos, aren't you? Fucking cunt. I no cunt's too good for you. Way too good. You are just the biggest flapping asshole on the goddamn internet. Literally, if they want to, they can take their own life. If they do not... Feel the happiness. Yeah, and how would that prevent the future harm? How would that prevent you from creating another victim? Oh, that's right, it wouldn't. So we should just give all the fucking, like, say all the people who lived in Fukushima and their life got fucked, we just give them all suicide pills, and then it's all okay, because we let them kill themselves. Hmm? Is that your solution? Fuck you. Joy from the experience of life. And some people might think that that's cruel or cold. No, no, what I think is, is if you're going to sit there and say you have a right to impose that pain and force them to make the, and force them to fix it, okay, that they should have the right to say, fuck you, I'd like to do the same to you, motherfucker. You impose life on me, I should be able to impose death on you. That should be the bargain. That should be the contract. If your kid thinks you're an asshole, it should be able to kill your fucking flabby ass. But it is true. It is your body. You are a human being. If you do not wish to exist, if an antinatalist thinks that the world is so horrible and so bad, then you can simply remove yourself and you don't have to worry about it. But by saying the children... Yeah, whatever. I mean, this is the most idiot, especially in the context that you've heard these arguments already. So this is a waste of my time. You've already heard these arguments. Suicide is never that simple. As soon as you exist, you already have the complication of a mother who loves you. 
Um, so, so right away, you've already fouled your own argument. Um, this is inane and bullshit to sit there and say the victim should clean it up. You rape her and you shit in her face and then you say, well, here's a napkin, clean it off. No big deal. Huh? Fuck you. Should not exist at all. Well, then basically you're saying that children should absolutely have no choice in having that experience or that experience. Yeah, right. So, so right. So let's use the claw woman example again. Or let's say somebody has a genetic disorder where their kid is guaranteed to have cancer at six years old. Guaranteed. And we should just let her have kids. Go ahead. Let her do it. Let her impose the pain and the suffering deliberately, willfully, on purpose, because somehow the kid should have the fucking choice. I mean, fuck you. Existence and parents should not have that choice to be able to exist and value life and what it does offer. Yeah, no, that no one's taking away a parent's choice to value life and do all that other shit. What they're saying to you is, is you can't take full responsibility for this action. It's over your qualifications. You're not fucking God. So quit trying to play God, you stupid cunt. And contribute. Another topic that antinatalists like to bring up is the fact that life does have suffering. It has pain. It does. But it also has many other things that you... Well, it's, it doesn't matter whether it does or doesn't, does it? Is it for you to tell them what they're going to like? So that's the, the claw mother says, well, I like having claw hands. So my kids will like having claw hands. Does that logic follow, shithead? Shit for brains? I don't think it follows. I don't think anybody has to think that's fucking reasonable or responsible. Again, you're just weaseling out. You made a decision. You said, I'm an arrogant asshole. I'm going to choose for somebody else. I'm going to roll risk dice with their welfare for them. All right? And you don't want to take any responsibility for it at all. You can enjoy. There's moments in time where... You just feel like you're on top of the world, and then there are moments in time where you're at the bottom of the barrel and you can't wait to eat a fucking lead salad. That is the way it is, but only through No, it's, it's the way you impose it, you stupid fuck. If I wake up as your, as, in the miserable circumstance of being your fucking spawn, all right, it is because you made it, asshole. It's not the way it is, it is the way it is. No, 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 no. It's you. You cause it. You make the fucking mess, you shithead. You deliberately and willfully do it for your own selfish motherfucking cunt reasons. Period. Because you're a selfish fucking pig. You get to have that moment where you be able to consciously exist. If it wasn't for life, if it wasn't for existence, the antinatalist simply wouldn't exist themselves. Because yeah, duh, asshole. And how does that mean something? Oh, that's right. Does it mean a mother fucking thing. We're talking about individual decisions to create life. It's no different than the decision to have nuclear power plants or any other decision that anybody makes. It's a decision. You're either going to have it or you're not going to have it. And if you have it, it has a consequence. And the consequence is that you're going to create victims. And you have to take responsibility for that. And you're not taking any responsibility for that. It's a self-defeating argument. If a person who is an antinatalist says, I don't want there to be children, I don't want reproduction because this world is so bad, then you have to ask them, then why do you exist? Why are you here? And they're going to say, well, I'm a part of the game. I might as well ride the roller coaster all the way out. Well, that's horseshit. Yeah, well, that's you've already heard these arguments. So, again, this is another liar. You're just a fat fucking liar now, right? There's nothing else to call you but a fucking fat disgusting, lying piece of shit. All right? You know the argument goes further than that. They talk about their addiction, and they also talk about the fundamental issue, which is they can't do any good for the cause if they're fucking dead. They can't fight in the war if they're dead, you stupid fucking moron. We don't have a legal right to die, you know, you dumb fucking cunt. Some people would say that's reason enough. That they're not going to die until they have the fucking right to do it. And they deserve the right to do it. And they're going to earn the right to do it. There's work to be done here, you stupid shit. Because the life doesn't have a purpose and because they wish they were dead doesn't mean they're going to bail out on the world. Mark Twain said he'd rather not have been. Jack Kevorkian spent seven years in goddamn jail and he said he'd rather not have been. Fuck you. 
You're basically saying that you value life more than you value death and non-existence. You have made a choice. Yeah, well, again, so you put words in people, you put actions and, and intentions in people's mouths. They're not living here for the sake of their life. They're not saying they value their life. They value the welfare of the things that exist now and the things that exist in the future. And they're going to do something to protect them. Fuck you again. I mean, fuck you, you slandering piece of shit. You disgusting, ugly, smelly motherfucker. The sooner you die, the better the world will be. You have made a choice to exist and live and enjoy this life. I mean, I almost want to vote for Romney. I mean, I'm not going to vote for that cunt lying Obama anyway, but I almost want to vote for Romney just to cut off your fucking welfare and throw you in the dirty, stinking street where you fucking goddamn belong. You disgusting pig. Life just as much as anybody and whatever it has to offer you or whatever you have to give it. So, by sitting there saying that other human beings should not have a choice, again, you're a self-defeating argument within yourself. Yeah, no, we're not saying other human beings shouldn't have a choice. We're saying other human beings don't need a choice if they're like Martians. They don't need choices, then. Flabby ass. And I understand a lot of anti-natalists are going to get angry and you're going to get pissed off by what Yeah, I'm going to say you're a motherfucking manipulative lying scumbag, all right? And it's already, I've said it even before this video, okay? You're a known quantity. Everybody hates you and they hate you for good fucking reason. You really are a weaselly, nasty, skanky piece of goddamn human pus. All right, and the sooner you're dead, the better for all sentient life in the universe. It's just undeniable. You absolutely, fundamentally suck. I'm saying, hell, I might even lose some friendships over this. But again, you'll make that... I don't think you have any friends, Brett. I think you've probably tapped them all out. Choice. You will make the decision that... You don't agree with people, you don't like the way people do things, you don't like when people go against your thoughts and ideas, then you will... No, I don't like liars and manipulators and game players, and you're a game player, Brett. Again, what were you doing in those stick cam rooms for those five straight weeks listening to all these arguments? Hmm? Oh, playing the game make the ultimate choice of how you represent yourself and do things in the future to come. Now on to some more topics. It seems more rational to me that if you have a dog and this dog has fleas, the fleas are causing the aggravation for the dog. It's irritating the dog. It's causing pain. Oh, whatever. Let's just jump ahead a little bit. But it doesn't matter to you that the dog might actually find enjoyment and being able to play with its bone, that it might find enjoyment at taking walks with its master or owner? Well, sure. Some people might even make the argument that, hey, having an animal itself is some kind of form of slavery. Having an animal against its choice. Yeah, that's right. It is. Well, you think it's going to die, Brett, and you haven't you seen how animals die? They don't die nice. They don't just die in their sleep, you stupid cunt. God, you're dumb. Of the entire dog race because of some fleas. Dog race. Think about the value of the dog. Think about the love of the dog as opposed to just wiping it out in order to have a permanent solution, as you would call it, opposed to something that can temporarily be... Yeah, a permanent solution, as you call it. Again, so make some argument how it's not a permanent solution. Make some argument, again... Demonstrate to me some evidence of how any human being is acknowledging any deprivation because there's no Martians on Mars, or no Lilliputians on this piece of metal, or no micro nanobot humans on this battery. Uh, explain to me why I don't sense any deprivation in the universe because there isn't a trillion little souls bodding about on this battery going, I love my master, I love my master. I love, 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 love. How come? How come, Brett? How come, Brett? How come there's no sense of absence and loss and missing and wrongness? 
Oh, that's right, because they're not ego. We, 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 have, we have only ego attachment. We have only attachment to that which is us, which we can morph into our personality. Yeah, that's right. That's the only way we can miss it. So we have to be here to be deprived or denied. That's the truth of it. You don't have a need till you make the need maker. Fixed and settle it all together. Everyone has their bad moment. Everyone has their terrible experience in this world. Everyone has had their heart broken at least once. Everyone oh, has please. there to be pain and suffering in the world. And the suffering and pain, if you notice, seems to be usually self-inflicted. The worst kind of pain and suffering that people oh, I, I don't, I, I, does, does anybody even want to deal with that? The worst kind of pain is self-inflicted. My, my sister spent four years dying of cancer, and it was self-inflicted. Fuck you, Brett. You, you, should, you should die of the worst kind of goddamn disease. You can't get sicker. can't get sick fast enough for me. All right? The sooner it happens, the better, you disgusting, deplorable sack of fucking fat, flabby shit. Given what I could offer. Why is it that human beings feel that they want to sit there and make videos on YouTube talking about antinatalism? And is it really because they do it on a logical basis? Do they do it because they think that it's rational, or do they do it because of their own personal suffering and pain? And they well, duh. I mean, they do it because they understand the price. They've tasted what's going on. And now they've un they understand the context of evolution. They understand the context of I'm lucky. I live in a nice country. Most humans don't aren't lucky. They don't live in a nice country. Uh, you know, they just do the, the logic math, shithead. And they say, how do you fix this? What's, what's the solution to this problem? Are we just going to keep perpetuating? Are we going to keep turning the wheel and keep grinding the meat? It's very important. It's very important to think about this. Is the reason why a lot of people who are antinatalists do it because of their own... You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to get a big giant mouse trap and shove your big fat ass in it. Right? I think, just think, Brad, how many mouse traps are in the United States right now? This is a snappy trap. And how many little necks just snapped every fucking day? Every fucking day. And that's just one tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, it doesn't even fit between my fingers the amount of suffering that is in one goddamn day experienced on this goddamn fucking planet because of assholes like you. Not because it has to be, but just because of you. You're the cause of it. You. Evil, flabby, fat, Ego maniacal, crazy, motherfucking, sadistic, fat asses like you are the cause. Nothing else anymore. You can't blame nature anymore. It's on you, fat ass. It's you. You do it. You suck. Personal experiences. They had what they feel an unfair, unreasonable, terrible life. Well, well, again, you're just ignoring the argument. There's a whole book written on it, asymmetry argument. There's the argument from imposition. So just ignore the arguments and play your little silly game. I don't care how bad your life is. It can't be bad enough for what you deserve. You deserve the baddest it can get. You deserve every fucking ounce of it. If I could pour it on you, I would. You deserve it. You deserve it. You should get exactly what you fucking goddamn deserve. If you're willing to impose it, it should be yours. Okay? You're going to own a slave? You should be a slave. You're going to promote the natalism? You should, you should get the worst of it, fucker. Whatever the price is, you should pay it, fucker. I've had a lot of unfair things happen to me. I've had a lot of <clears throat> unreasonable things, a lot of irrational things that I can't explain. I have a lot of things that have happened to me that caused me great amounts of Right, and you think it's a good idea to shove another kid into that jeopardy. So you're basically conceding you that life's unfair, it's unjust, it's cruel and brutal, and I'm just going to shove a kid into it. And you're going to call that an act of reason. <clears throat> no, it's not an act of reason, it's an act of selfishness, you motherfucking cunt. Period. And you won't just say those words. You just won't say them. You are a selfish fucking asshole. Concede it or not. And but it's the goddamn truth. Stress and anxiety. 
But I realize that there is more of a value in the positive. There is more in the good of things in life. And that's why I don't throw them. Right, and so nobody else is allowed to disagree with that bizarrely unsubstantiated opinion. So you think your the good feelings that you've had in your life, if um, um, if they cost one girl getting cancer and having chemotherapy for one year, if that's what they cost, you'd be willing to pay the price. You'd be willing to impose the cancer on the kid to have your little jollies. Hmm? Because that's the price of it, shithead. Mattel, that is why when I get to the point where I feel like I'm at the end of my line or I'm up against the wall, I say to myself, well, what is there? What is there? A lot of people... Yeah, very philosophical. Who the fuck cares? What, gets you, what kind of diluted, moronic, candy bullshit gets you through the day? Well, they come to this position. They come to this, this place in their existence where there's a fork where they have to decide what is the value. And that's the beauty of life. You always have a choice. Yeah, again, you don't... This this asshole bullshit, that's the beauty of life. You always have the choice to get miserable enough to stick a knife in your eye. I mean, fuck you. It's not my obligation to clean up the mess. All right? It's your obligation not to make the mess. Now, you can't understand that? You can't? Choice. You always have a way to be able to figure out how to make things better for yourself. Interact with the right people. Talk to the right people. Know who your friends are. Know who loves you and value that over the things that you lack. Yeah, whatever. This is just totally irrelevant mush. Fuck you for this. Fuck you for imposing this nonsense into this subject. Fuck you, period. Problems. They have children whenever they realize that they can't take care of them and they're not even responsible enough to take care of them themselves. So there's people out there that... Yeah, yeah, the Keene family. Yeah, it's a perfect example. You're, you're one of those, Brett. ...put themselves in a lot of these horrible situations. A lot of people who go to war that volunteer for it, they, I guess, assume that they're going to be able to go out there and kill and destroy and it's not going to affect them on a moral, ethical level. It's not going to cause them to have nightmares when they try to sleep because of all the things that they have put themselves into to experience. A lot of people know about what will cause you pain and suffering, but some people, they seem to get off of it, get off on it. Some people like to take chances. Yeah, whatever. This isn't the subject, is it? No, it isn't. This isn't the subject. The subject is, is your your right to play God, to impose life, to get in somebody's face in a way that you can't, there's no other, you can't get more in somebody's face, once again, than to shove their face out of vagina. So fuck you. Deal with that. Some people like to do things, and sometimes chances, taking chances and risk in life. Yeah, yeah, right. Do that with your own welfare, okay? Do the Jefferson thing. Your rights end where another individual's rights begin. So just play your own game. Ride your own roller coaster. Eat your own shit. Shove your own shit up your own nostrils. No one gives a goddamn rat's ass, Brett. All right? It's, we're talking about procreation. We're talking about your, your saying that somehow it's your right, just because nature gave you the tools to do it, that it's your right to impose life. I'm saying it's not your right, that you have to demonstrate some purpose or accomplishment. You have to get some sort of environmental impact statement. Explain to me why, what the fuck you're going to accomplish with this experiment. Why you're competent to conduct it. You're not going to do any of that, though, because you're an irresponsible fucking cunt. It's one of those things where you can really benefit, and there's a big value in it. There's a lot you can learn, and sometimes when you take chances, you fail miserably and it causes a lot of suffering, but it's... Oh, yeah, right, to other people, and somehow that's your right. Well, that isn't your right. Not unnecessary suffering. It is suffering that you knew could possibly happen. You knew the stakes whenever you did it. You knew what the game was whenever you went with it. We are not in some kind of maze. We are not in some kind of confusing pivotal moment where we just can't figure out what life is. Life is obvious. Life is understandable. Humans are predictable. So to sit there and say that we're just kind of trapped in some kind of thing, I don't really 
I don't really believe that. I think that we pretty much understand our road right away. We know what we want. Yeah, right. We know that the need doesn't need to exist. Shithead. Sometimes when people get what they want, it's not enough and people get greedy. And I blame that on society. I blame that on the the way human beings are brought up and the way people are educated and the way people are put in these capitalist societies where they decide this is the way they want to do things. And I'm Yeah, well, it's a hell of a lot better than deciding to do things Brett's way, okay? What's your productive contribution, Brett? Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Fortunately, people have to bust ass, people have to go through a lot of aggravation, but it's all because they've manufactured the very fucking problems that they have. That's why problems exist. Yeah, right, exactly. You make the mess. You've manufactured the goddamn problems, Brett. I didn't make the world, Brett. All right, and the fundamental problems are in the nature of the world itself, Brett. You've heard these arguments. 99999999999 percent of the suffering is taking place in the natural world in the green shit out there um so again this argument isn't about me and having a problem with something i've done i haven't committed any crimes i didn't commit any trespasses i didn't do any creation mess making I'm not making a game that anything has to play, so I don't have to make a, I don't have to take accountability or responsibility for a motherfucking thing. I'm merely stating that it's in my personal interest, it's in the interest of all the abused and the tormented uh, to fight back. So I'm going to fight back. I'm going to tell you motherfucking cunts to put a quirk in it. Play with yourselves. Quit playing with... Um, these new creations you think you have a right to make. ...in this world. That's why there's aggravation. Beyond nature and beyond the universe, human beings cause the biggest problem for themselves. Humans are their worst enemy at times. But what's the, what is the solution? Kill the entire dog? Yeah, no. Kill, kill. See, again, pervert the argument. It's anti-natalism. I mean, goddamn motherfucker. It's not kill. It's anti-natalism. Right now, Brett, you stupid cunt, most people aren't breeding sufficiently to maintain human existence. That's a fact. Is it complicated? Can, can you not understand something that easy, that everybody just migrates to that behavior and everything's fine? So if the minority of people would just do what the majority of people are doing, the fucking thing is resolved? You can't understand that simple logic? That 2 plus 2 equals 4 logic it escapes your fucking cunt brain? No, I don't think it does. I think you're a lying, manipulative, motherfucking, weaselly cunt. You know perfectly well your argument is shit, and you're going to make it anyway. Because you suck. Brace or just take care of the fleas. Take care of the fucking fleas. Take care of the annoyance. Work out the problems. Fix the issues. Find the value yeah, in fix the issues. That right. Just turn the valve off. You don't like the sewage? Turn the valve off. Problem solved. And also respect the choices. Yeah. Well, you're not respecting the the you know the right of the non-existent to not think your judgment is sufficient to impose life on them. Well, ladies and gentlemen. If anyone wants to have a discussion about this or talk about any further topics so you can give me more reasons that you think are actually... Yeah, now you've heard all the arguments. I think you should just fucking die, you ugly piece of shit. You should just fucking goddamn die. Logical and rational to be an anti-natalist. I'm all ears. I'm listening. Yeah, fuck you. No, you're not. Die. You're ugly. You're stupid. You're ignorant. You're a liar. You're a weasel. You're a conniving motherfucking piece of trash. Just the worst piece of garbage. There's just nothing good about you. You are just sticky and you got maggots on you and you're just smelly. There's just nothing charming whatsoever. There's just nothing valuable at all. You're just a useless sack of lying, manipulative, con conniving shit. And so, yeah, I hate your guts and I wish you nothing but what you deserve. Get exactly what you deserve. Exactly what you deserve. Fuck you. Goodbye.